L1. In this tutorial, we will be learning how to run an R programming language in Jupyter Notebook. Um, we will cover how to run R in Jupyter Notebook using Python uh, kernel, the IPython I, I uh, kernel, and how to run R in Jupyter Notebook using uh, R kernel. The Jupyter system supports over 100 program language called kernels in the Jupyter ecosystem. Uh, besides Python, uh, it uh, also includes Java, R, Julia, MATLAB, Scala, and many more. You can go to the GitHub uh, to um, look more about Jupyter kernel uh, in detail all the uh, kernels for different language. Uh, R language uh, is an interpreted uh, program language for statistical computing and graphic, which is widely used by statisticians and data miners. Uh, there are several ways to set up a Jupyter Notebook for R, but here we only uh, learn two uh, straightforward uh, ways. The first one, run R in Jupyter Notebook using Python kernel. Uh, this way uh, allows us to run R and Python together in the same notebook. But first we have to install uh, Python uh, in version 3.5 or higher. Uh, we can install Anaconda or traditional Python. Uh, we have to install R in version 3.2 or higher. Uh, we can install by in, by the um, R installer or install by Anaconda. If you are an Anaconda user, uh, it is very easy. Just use Anaconda install uh, dash c r r uh, hyphen in centrals. Uh, yeah this one uh, we have also Jupyter notebook installed we can use pip uh, install notebook or conda install notebook uh, if you are conda um, user uh, yeah we uh, in fact uh, uh, we have already have a videos and uh, to display how to install traditional Python, and uh, uh, also um, there's a previous uh, video to uh, show how to install um, R uh, in on Windows. If you are not uh, familiar with how to install Python and R. Uh, uh, please uh, go to my previous videos to watch them. Then we install IPy2 library. Uh, we should install NumPy first. We use pip install NumPy. Yeah, it's very easy. Uh, if you already installed uh, Anaconda, it's unnecessary to uh, install uh, NumPy. Uh, because they are all uh, pre-installed. Uh, of course, uh, second, uh, it recommends to install pandas. Um, we use pip install pandas, then we install rpi2 library. Just use pip install rpi2 or conda install rpi2. Yeah, all this uh, is easy. Uh, I already all of them installed. It's unnecessary for me to repeat all this uh, process. After all this uh, package, uh, all the APPR Python, I mean, uh, they are all installed, then we enable the percent percent R magic, but we only need to run once. Uh, yeah use one cell uh, for example here we write it percent load uh, underscore 
extension EXT R pi uh, 2 and dot I Python. Yeah, that's why. Uh, because the extension already loaded, uh, yeah, I, I already uh, reloaded. Yeah. This is because this is my second time to to load it. If your first time, maybe there's a warning, uh, but it doesn't matter. Just to use some symbols, uh, uh, are not contained in the package. Yeah. Then we are using the percent percent R magic. Yeah. Let's define a simple. Uh, x is 6, print x, this is R code, in fact, uh, let's write, you see, the 6. We can also use percent percent %r, uh, then install the R package uh, in Jupyter Notebook. For example, here, we install ggplot2, let's write, it asked uh, select a, a mirror, for use in this session. Yeah. Then we can choose. Uh, for example, uh, here uh, I use Canada. Uh, you can use uh, any mirrors uh, in your country or near to your place. I have already installed. Uh, let's try. Maybe we try it again. Just to show the process. You see? It says packs ggplot successfully unpacked and md5 sum checked. Yeah. Download the binary package are in. That means the install, uh, I mean, so the package um, was installed successfully. Also, you can use the mirror uh, repos. Uh, yeah, this is the mirror. Uh, also, you can use quite, yeah. Okay, if you want to load the uh, package, you you just use percent percent r library, uh, ggplot2. Let's see an uh, example. These are Python cell, yeah, totally um, Python uh, standard uh, codes. Import panda as pd, import numpy as np. Then we define a, uh, a data frame. Here, this is the x variable. This is y variable. Yeah, a very simple example. Let's write first. You see, this is x, this is y. Then we uh, know we use r to uh, create a figure or, or plot. We use the uh, magic percent percent r dash i a df. This means uh, that we pass the data df. Yeah, this data uh, df as input. Uh, yeah, i means input to r. Then dash w three uh, dash h three. That means the white and height you know, of the uh, plot. We use uh, dash dash units in uh, dash r two hundred. Here means resolution. We uh, make the default figure size three by three inches with 200 uh, uh, dpi uh, resolution. Of course, we can change the unit to uh, pixel, uh, centimeter, millimeter, etc. Here, you can put the install package and load the package here. Um, I mean, in one uh, block uh, of code. Then we use ggplot 
data is df assets x is x value y is y value we a uh, geo point uh, we plot point the color is red the size is 4 and then we um, make a smooth uh, statistical line uh, to uh, fit it let's write you see it's a very nice figure uh, another thing is we should um, uh, be uh, aware uh, is that percentage percent are must be at the beginning of a cell otherwise it will cause errors even the comments these comments you put um, beginning of this magic yeah they are error let's see you see syntax error positional argument follows key uh, keyword argument yeah but you put back like this there's no any errors okay next let's see how to run R in Drupal notebook use R kernel we have to install R kernel for Drupal notebook R kernel can be installed while the comprehensive R achieve uh, network. Uh, it is uh, simply for uh, CRAN, yeah, C R E N. We can just know we mentioned we can install it directly in Jupyter Notebook. We use person person R install packages IR kernel. It's better to install this uh, in Jupyter Notebook. Uh, then we make the kernel available to Jupyter. We use iKernel uh, installation spec. It will install a kernel with the name of IR as and a deeply named of R. Uh, by default, it installs the kernel uh, per user. So it's better to uh, install it system wide. We do uh, do that. We should set user to false in the install install spec command like this. Yeah, we still use the uh, the magic command in Jupyter Notebook to install this ir kernel installation spec user false. That's right. In fact, I have already uh, installed. You can run it. Uh, then we can create our Drupal no notebook in Jupyter Notebook. Uh, we call it R Notebook because here uh, we use the R kernel. We just copy this and try. We go to the dashboard, go to the new. You see, there's an R kernel after you install, uh, after the installation of R kernel. We click R. We just pa passed this code here. You see, there's an R. Then we write. You see, it works very well. Okay, uh, thank you for your watching.